you tell yourself that you, sc I mean, you scored the touchdown, there's a holding penalty. But is that just kind of an example of how sometimes this game can be really difficult? Cool in a way. Yeah, I mean, you know, I didn't see it until like, after I turned around in the end zone that it was a flag, but you know, I just draw back to the huddle. Nice play. Can't do it. We gotta keep going. You're showing that you can make the really difficult contested catch running full speed. So when you watch that on film, are you like, yeah, that's what I can do. I got this. I mean, that's, I mean, I, that's something I could do. I could do a whole lot. You said you know you're not dwelling on the, the fumble or anything. Does it motivate you? Does it put any kind of yeah, chip on your shoulder? That. Ball security is key. They DBs, that's that's what they taught. Go after the ball. And he made a great play going after the ball. So how have you what is not being out of energy or whatever at this point? Oh, I had to change my eating habits. Okay. I had to change the way I eat and you know, how I go about things. So I do a lot of the stuff that I used to do during the day, I do a bit. You know? So you know, you're just on that, then what what eating habits? What do you do now? I mean, I cut up, I cut all the like all the greasy foods and fried foods. Really, I don't eat too much. You know, fried and greasy foods. Really. That, is that hard? Yeah, it's hard. It's hard for me to do. I mean, it was hard. It's, it's, it's still hard for me because I be want to eat pizza and I be want to eat chicken and fries. But I can't. When did you cut it off? Uh, back at training camp. Surprising. Yeah. I mean, that's a surprise. Yeah. yeah. Surprising in itself. Yeah, I ain't surprised by that. Like, what parts of your game can you improve to take the next step? Myself, what I say, um, it just basically route running. Like, I can run some good routes, but I just, I want to be like, Chris, like I'm, I'm already fast.